they expect us to race together, to weather the storm. But you can't do chin-ups with the bootstraps and polos and Timberlands are the norm. They expect us to change what's wrong. Times have changed, so change the song no more. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. We deserve a community. Wherever you're at, say it to yourself. We deserve a community. In Egypt, black was wealthy. In Grand Rapids, wealthy was once seen as black. How quick the images portrayed change when the directors are colorblind to the what hats, only see the riffraff of fitted to a snapback, a Sammy's pita in a fresh taper fade versus the grave of more minority-owned businesses. But at least the tombstone is clean, right? Let's chisel organic market in it. Label it a community staple. Call it much needed community development. Smile to the neighbors as we cut the ribbon. Let's at least wave them a farewell, shall we? Bid them adieu when their rent is. Maybe I'm being petty or childish. You know what, let me be childish is our young minority youth doesn't get to be. Black businesses will be the trading cards that nobody wants. A little Caesars for your Sandmans? Blackjack, no trade back. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers, but please, not so loud that you disturb our revitalized community. I once heard someone say that minority business incentives are racist, excuse me, reverse racism. Racism reverses in others doing what they created. Some might call that evening the odds. Out enough it isn't even, even when it appears to be. I said out enough it isn't even, even when it appears to be. I said get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. As a 16 year old black boy last year, what can we do to fix racism in our community? How can you fix the way people perceive you? His response? Nothing. It's useless. Last week, I smoked a cigarette outside Mulligan's pub. I laughed at how expensive a pack was as I looked down the street at the new apartments that I can't afford next to the street I used to live on. That boy's response in class is the same response I'm guessing his parents would give me, give me something to show them, to prove them wrong. I would keep giving them pieces of myself, but I know that I am a part of the system that wants me to fail. Not long ago, I went to Ferris Bar. The owner greeted me with a smile. The door patted me on the back with a sign that said, hats on straight, no do-rags, no sagging pants, no bandanas. That boy clearly isn't welcome here. The sign says so. Two years ago, I threw an event at the Bob that tripled their bar sales. After going outside to smoke, I was told that I didn't meet their dress code. I guess I should stop going outside to smoke, right? I keep being given reasons to quit being around areas that don't want us as patrons or a part of their community, but that's why we have to stay, why we have to prove them wrong, to show them that we aren't going anywhere, whether the city changes or not, we're here to stay. Our voice matters.